You're listening to one of the most stirring pieces of military music, the Radetzky March. It was played by the military bands of the Austro-Hungarian Army since Johann Strauss composed it in 1848 until the empire collapsed in 1918. You might well ask, what has this to do with Jewish history? The answer may surprise you, because by and large, Jews throughout the old empire held its emperor, Franz Joseph, in especially high regard. He ruled from 1848 until 1916, a total of 68 years. That meant entire generations grew up and knew no other emperor. Some thought both the emperor and his empire would last forever. Look at this Hebrew prayer book. Jews throughout the empire prayed for the emperor's health. They had good reason. During Franz Joseph's reign, Jews had come out of the ghetto and into society. They not only were able to attend universities, they taught in them. They played in symphony orchestras and conducted them. They worked in retail trades and as doctors and lawyers. From his side, the emperor knew he could depend on four groups to support his vast multi-ethnic empire, his civil servants, the aristocracy, the Jews, and the Austro-Hungarian army. Just as important, Jews throughout the Danube monarchy, as it was called, knew that as long as the empire held together, nationalism would be kept at bay because the byword of the empire was tolerance. It didn't always work, but the intent was to maintain a common home, a common ground. That meant living in what is now Ukraine and Poland, in what is now Hungary and Romania, in today's Austria and Croatia. Jews were, and Jewish soldiers, perhaps even more so, some of the emperor's most loyal subjects. But this brief golden age was soon to end. By the late 19th century and the beginning of the 20th, a wave of nationalism was sweeping Europe. and The empire itself would soon be torn apart. So in its last days, and even in the carnage of the First World War, many of the empire's Jews hoped and prayed that the empire might survive. Not because they were monarchists, but for the very practical reason, survival. They feared whatever would come after it would be much worse. And as we all know, they were right. (laughs) ¶¶